Meatloaf is always so excited in the morning. Come here, good boy. Come here. What do you do? Do you tell your mom hi? Yeah. What do you do? Come here. <laughs> Why are you so excited? We hey, just boy. woke up. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Come here, boy. Your mama's calling you. Oh, what a good boy. Oh, so cute, so cute, so cute. What a big guy. Why are you so excited? This is so funny. They are always doing, they're always like They're always wrestling and fighting all the time. What do you want, Milo? What are you doing over there? You freaking crazy guy. You guys are so cute. This is so awesome. A shirt that I bought over a year ago, right before I went on my bulk. I could finally wear again. This is actually the first time I'm gonna wear this shirt out. And I bought this over a year ago. I could actually fit all my clothes. I'm so happy. <laughs> so I got this shirt on that I bought, I think from Urban Outfitters over a year and a half ago. Got my watch on, my wedding wing, shoes that Ma Bear bought me, and then some jeans. Today I have to look a little bit extra fly because uh, me and Joe were going to Pop TV and out of that entire uh, first round of talking to um, TV networks, Pop TV actually wants to work with us. So we have a meeting today and it's more of a creative meeting to see if we can see eye to eye because if they want to dilute our brand, me and Joe would rather not be on TV. So that's the goal of today. We're going to go meet with Pop TV and because of that it's going to be like in Hollywood. I have to look a little bit extra fresh what do you think about that mom bear potato i do i look good yeah you look great you look really hot you promise yeah i wish i was pregnant because you know <laughs> oh shit what's that mean whoa 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 i would be wearing really fly stuff too you promise i can't i haven't worn denim in like so long. I haven't worn my regular clothes. I have so many pretty clothes that are just hanging there collecting dust because I don't fit in anything. That's else. what happened to me. I literally, I literally bought a but ton of clothes right before I bulked. Oh wait, I did So I, <laughs> you, I did it to you too. <laughs> I actually have a ton of clothes in the closet that I bought right before I bulked and I couldn't wear any of it. So I was just you wearing tees. Why would you do that? Why would you buy a bunch of stuff before you bulked? It was just, I had two plans and I didn't plan it out very well but now now i think i look good here look let me tell let me see from your angle how does it look like i have to do the um i have to do the looking into the sun eyes <laughs> or like you're just confused like you don't know is the world round or flat <laughs> she's so dumb <laughs> that's what models do and then they always have like boogers <laughs> so true. I never thought about the book. Like and then their hands are always cold. And they're confused. But then their thumbs are hot. <laughs> and they're always like horny about themselves. They're always biting their lip. <laughs> Big cutie. All right, the main question is why the fuck are you wearing your fucking outdoor shoes indoors, especially in our bedroom? Because they're clean. What? Look You've never boys. worn them? I'm excited. He thinks I'm going to play. You've never game. worn them outside? No, I do, but I barely wear them. I just have to look. That's I have, disgusting. I have, to, I have to make sure that everything looked. That's just, then fresh. get a mirror downstairs, you dirty bastard. Cue the music. Stop, we're just rubbing all the outdoor fucking dust and shit and piss in our bedroom. Get out! You're Asian! You should know better! Disgusting. Man, I just feel extra fresh today. I feel clean. I feel lean. I can finally fit in my clothes. And I got my car wash yesterday. Padow! Look at that. Everything is nice and clean and glistening. Look at that hood. 
Oh man, I hope the meetings go really well today. I'm really excited because if it goes well, you just might see JK Party on TV. Me and Joe are at Coffee Bean right now, getting some pre-meeting coffee. We almost always, always get coffee before a meeting just so we could be more alert and so that the people we're meeting with don't feel like we're uninterested. When we wake up, we're like super low energy and uh, before like JK Party and JK Films, we usually drink a ton of coffee so we can feel amped up and be very entertaining on camera. But our regular day, we're kind of low energy. So this is pretty important for us to, to kind of put our best foot forward. What coffee did you get today? Regular I just got coffee? a black, regular black coffee. Oh, uh, awesome. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Cool, dude. Alright, thanks. Tell Mike what we That's know. Roy. That's the guy we're selling the TV show with. He's always on the phone because he's so busy. <laughs> he's talking. Talking to this guy, know, talking, well, to guy talking to that guy, talking to that guy, talking to this guy. Before we do these TV meetings, we always have a game plan meeting with Roy because he kind of preps us for the way that the TV networks work and also the type of programming they're looking for. So when you're doing these things, yes, we have our TV show that we want to pitch, but it's also important to kind of slowly mold it into what the TV uh, networks are looking for. So there's kind of like an art form to all these things. For us, we just want to do fun shit, but there's an entire science behind how TV shows are made, which is why we have to team up with people like Roy, who build TV shows and sell TV shows because they know what they're doing in the TV business. Joey Mac. Oh my I think I can't like believe I can't believe he was part of the kids on the block. Oh, oh he was what? part of the new kids. He was he was one of the. Are you gonna go in there, Joe? I can't open it. Oh, you can't. Yeah, I can't. But this is uh when I was in elementary school. I think there was this a was boy like band. The band. boy band. Yeah. The first to start it all. The oh oh yeah. oh. Yep. Damn, old school. Are they bringing them back? What is this? I don't know. I think no, it's they have a, no, they have a show with these guys. Oh, really? They do a show with their. Uh, I think it's called uh, some some cruise. Oh, look, yeah, it's it's, it's a it's cruise. Pop some, some kind of. Shit. Is it? Isn't that guy on the far right uh, Mark Wahlberg's brother? This guy? Yeah. I don't know. Roy was Mark Wahlberg's brother in New Kids on the Block. Yes, Donald Wahlberg. Yeah. How did you know that? Uh, I just saw his face and I was like, that guy looks like Mark Wahlberg, and I was like, wait, I remember hearing that some somewhere. How did you think the meeting went, Roy? Excellent. 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 We are ready to go. We're going to do it. Yeah, awesome. We're going to sell the show. Absolutely. Awesome. No brainer. That just means you're going to see the TV show in 2030. That's TV talk. It takes a long time to get shit done. <laughs> yeah, people get so pissed at us. They're like, where's the movie? Dude, movies take years. years. If it's a good one. Yeah. We could shit one out in three months. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. After our meetings, we always get so hungry that we have to eat. So we're in little Tokyo about to get something to eat. What are we going to eat, Joe? We're going to get some sushi. Ooh. Ooh. Yup. What's up? What's up? Hey, it's my name is Donovan. What's good? Tight. This place really cares about July 4th. They're going to be closed 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I can't be vlogging in here, so I'm not going to be able to record all the yummy stuff that I'm going to eat, but just know it's going to be delicious. This is the place that I'm at, Hama Sushi, and they got legit chefs here, which is probably why they don't want us to vlog, even though it's probably going to promote their business. But that's them at work, and turning it on. That sushi was crazy bomb. Too bad I couldn't record any of it. Uh, my favorite one that I got there was Yellowtail. So Yellowtail is usually one of the I guess, standard sushis that you get. But it was so fatty that it almost tasted like Toro. It was bomb. Me and Joe pretty much just bonded and complained about our girlfriends like normal guys. And we had a good time. 
<laughs> now I'll talk to the office. What are you gonna do the rest of the day? Me, I'm gonna go get a haircut, and then after that, um, I have some phone meetings, super boring, and then I'm gonna be going <laughs> to karate. Oh, I can't wait to join you finally after yeah. my powerlifting meet. Oh yeah, that'll be cool. <laughs> so what did you camera. say when you first saw my car? Oh, that I just saw it, and I was like, is that Bart's car? I was like, no, maybe it's not, but it is. It is. It is. It is. So you already saw the vlog that went out about the car? Yeah, I saw it right away. I get notifications. I'm like, oh, damn, nice. I that. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for supporting. You're welcome. <laughs> that meeting we had got me really, really motivated and excited. I can't wait to put Just Kidding Party and Just Kidding News on TV. So um, what we were able to collaborate on, and just to kind of give you kind of like a, a rough structure of how the show would be, it would open up with more of a Just Kidding News format with something topical and uh, a discussion and that will lead to us having to do something JK party-ish which means we'd have to get tested so for example like let's say we do a news about um, this new guy that just jumped out of the airplane in our usual discussion we would start talking about like who's afraid of heights or who'd like to jump out of airplanes and David always talks big he's always like he thinks everything is possible then the middle part would be just kidding party where we put our words to the test and then now all of us would have to jump out of the airplane and skydive. And you know, I'm afraid of heights. David's afraid of heights. So that'd be amazing to see us put our money where our mouth is. And then afterwards, we go back to the Just Kidding News roundtable and we discuss everything that happened. So that's kind of uh, the very, very rough format. But of course, we make it really juicy because it's for TV and it'll be shot really well. And we get a bigger budget so we can do crazier stuff that we can't do now. That's the general uh, gist of it. So I'm really, really excited to see what that would look like because it's pretty much everything we've been building separately online, but now we get to combine all the forces into something huge on TV. Just finished that meeting. I'm back at the office. I made it back right in time for some uh, Barbell Brigade meetings. So I'm gonna be jumping into that. See you guys later. It is now time for us to go home and to finally relax. I had a super long day with um, the pop TV meeting and the barbell meeting uh, but we got really productive oh no Briggy's just pinned on the floor oh, yeah but now we're walking our dogs back to the car and uh, Briggy we don't have to give her a leash because she's really good Meatloaf he'll run and bite someone she's a follower yeah she is a follower so if the pack goes somewhere Briggy just follows yeah so she doesn't need a little leash Fawn's an explorer, so she does need a leash. Uh, she's an explorer, but she also gets scared. So she like forgets that we're her owner. She's like, oh, fuck, danger. She just leaves. That's true. And Meatloaf is an attacker. So uh, we have leashes on these two, and Briggy gets to explore. But uh, we're about to go home. Uh, we had a really good day today. So I'm going to call the vlog quits here, and see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.